All right, so in this project, we have an LED connected to our Arduino via pin 13 for the power, which goes to the positive side, and um, the negative sign is um, connected via a resistor to the ground. Um, and then we're going to use this button to control it like a switch, and the button has power coming from the 5 volt in the Arduino to the uh, right leg over here. <clears throat> and then on the left leg, we actually have a resistor that is um, connecting to ground as well to complete the circuit over here. But then we also have pin 7 is connected to the left leg as well. And so what this does is every time that we press the button, this is going to get a little ping as well. And that's how we can, you know, so let's look at the code. Um, so you can see exactly what's happening here. So um, <clears throat> I have uh, this button pin here, which actually this should be equal to 7, right? Since that's where, where it is in pin 7. And the LED pin is um, 13. And I created this Boolean on that is uh, equal to false. So I created this, this button state that is equal to zero. This Boolean on is equal to false, right? And we start out by letting um, the Arduino know that uh, we're setting pin mode for two of our pins, seven and 13, right? LED pin and button pin respectively. And we are gonna get the state of the button pin and it's going to be saved into this integer button state. And if it reads as equal to high, then we're going to go into this if statement and take a look at what the state of our on Boolean is equal to. And if it's equal to true, then we make it false. Basically, which it's like a switch. Whatever it's equal to, we just make it the opposite. So every time that um, the button state is equal to high, which means we actually press the button. We switch the state of our um, on Boolean. Um, so basically on becomes false, which is kind of like off, right? And then so if on is equal to true, we write the LED pin to hide, which high, which makes it um, light up. Otherwise, it's um, low and is uh, turned off. And I put a slight delay in here just so that we you have time. Otherwise, if you don't have the delay in there, and you press that button down, like it, it reads high low real quick, and um, it doesn't know which one it is. Uh, so that's why that is in there. Um, let's take a look at it in action. All right. So the Arduino has been programmed and should work appropriately. Let's just uh, plug it in, and it now has some power. Um, so that, that blinking was just the initial surge of power. And so the button, let me see, is right back here. If I click it down, the light comes on and stays on until the next time I press the button and it's off. That's a nice little making a button kind of into a switch for us. Turn something on and leave it on and then oh, turn it off and leave it off. There you go. That's the demonstration.